Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's topic, peanut butter and jelly. And I've done my best to dress up like peanut butter and jelly. And I'm wondering if you think I look like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or not. So let's talk peanut butter and jelly. Now, there are a lot of different peanut butters out there. I've just chosen a couple because I want to kind of give you, you know, a basic idea. Um, so the first thing that caught my attention was this bright blue label. And it's because usually these reduced fat or sugar-free, whatever versions of the food, usually they're way, way, way worse for us than just the regular version of the food. So that was my hunch. I picked it up. Sure enough, I was right. So just looking at the front of this, we can see reduced fat, 25% less fat, great for you. It actually says great for you on the label. But if we turn it over, uh, we can kind of just take a quick gander at this ingredient list. Um, it may be a little hard to see because it kind of curves around here. Uh, we've got roasted peanuts, corn syrup solids, soy protein isolate, sugar, um, and then fully hydrogenated oils, uh, which are trans fats. And we know that the trans fats, which these are the partially or fully hydrogenated oils, these are probably the very worst fats out there for us. So in this reduced fat product that's great for you, they actually have trans fats, which are actually, I believe they're now banned in the U.S. Um, so it should just be a matter of time, right? Till hopefully this isn't contained in here anymore. Um, ferric orthophosphate, copper sulfate, tocopherol acetate, uh, peroxidine hydrochloride. And it's not you know, this isn't about you needing to know what all these chemicals are. The idea is that there's so freaking many of these different chemicals that you can just glance at a food label, see how many ingredients it has, and that's your red flag, and you know to put it back. So I don't have to sit here and go through each and every single one of these. The whole idea is that we can just glance at this, see, wow, that's an awful lot of ingredients for something that should just be peanuts. Um, and know that that's kind of a red flag. So then we kind of pile on top of that. We've got soybean oil, soy protein isolate, and corn syrup solids. Um, and most of those are, are GM products, genetically modified products. Um, so even though it doesn't say genetically modified on the label, we don't require labeling in the United States, um, chances are these corn and soy products are actually genetically modified, unfortunately. So to kind of start looking at something better, now this is the same brand, again, but this one says natural, and actually it's, it's way, way, way better for you. So I'm going to kind of hold these up so you can kind of compare them. Um, and you can just by glancing at it, even if you, you know, even if you can't actually read what these are saying, you can see this is roasted peanuts, sugar, palm oil, and salt versus this whole three lines that goes around the bottle, halfway around the bottle, really, really long ingredient list. So this is going to be a much healthier product simply because it doesn't contain all those crazy chemicals in it. Um, also, it doesn't contain the fully hydrogenated oils, those trans fats that we saw in this reduced fat version. Um, so this is going to be a far superior product. And then to even go one up from there, um, this is my favorite brand of, of nut butters. Um, it comes in a glass jar, which I always think is nice. It's in glass instead of plastic. Um, but again, very comparable ingredients on these two. So this one is um, dry roasted almonds, organic unrefined cane sugar, palm oil, and sea salt. Um, so again, we've just got a couple of ingredients. Now, some products out there, well, I would say are even superior to this. Maybe they don't even contain sugar. And then you can add a little sugar or add a little honey or add something to it if you want it to be sweet. Um, but you could probably even find products that really they're just 100% peanuts and that's the only ingredient. And that's gonna be way better for you than this kind of Franken food peanut butter over here with all these crazy ingredients. So let's move on to the other half of our peanut butter and jelly sandwich. My favorite part, which is the jelly. So maybe you can let me know what's your favorite part. Is it the peanut butter or the jelly? What's your favorite flavor of jelly? Are you a strawberry jelly, grape jelly kind of person? Let me know. Um, what I have here, this first one is sugar-free peach preserves. 
Um, so again, we kind of have this label on the front that looks real clean, it's sugar-free, looks like maybe this is gonna be a healthy product, but let's see what happens when we turn it over. Um, okay, so looking at this ingredient label, uh, water, peaches, polydextrose, maltodextrin, locust bean gum, natural flavors, potassium sorbate, calcium chloride, yellow five and yellow six. So not only do we have uh, these artificial sweeteners, but we also have artificial colors, which are actually banned in several different countries. So yellow five or tartrazine is banned in Norway, France, and the UK. Uh, but this happy little healthy looking peach preserves actually has this artificial color in it. Um, we also have uh, these different preservatives. We have the ever ominous natural flavors. And I've discussed this in a couple other videos, but basically there's a whole list of chemicals that can go by this rather unassuming name, natural flavors. Um, and some of them are extracted from the anal glands of beavers, a chemical called castoreum. Um, but again, you're never gonna see that name of that chemical on the label. It's just gonna be listed as natural flavor. So maybe the natural flavor is something that isn't so bad, uh, but we really don't know. And that's why I personally choose to avoid things that contain natural flavors because we just really don't know what that means. We don't know which chemical that is. Um, so one other thing I want to point out about this label that I think is interesting is they've actually put a little asterisk by a lot of these ingredients and it says ingredients not in regular preserves and literally it's every ingredient on this label except for peaches and fruit pectin. So I think it's funny. They've actually come right out and say, here's all these other ingredients that we've put in this product that you don't find in normal preserves. So this would be the bad guy. And then let's look at something that um, this is actually my favorite jelly that I use anyways. And then so I was really happy when uh, I was actually able to include it in this video. Um, and again, we can kind of look at the back. We've got wild blueberries, sugar, cane sugar, concentrated lemon juice, fruit pectin, and that's it. So it's actually colored with the actual blueberries. It actually doesn't have any artificial colors in it at all. Um, and it does have added sugar. So again, this isn't going to be a super healthy product, so to speak. But just comparing it to some of these other ones, it's definitely the lesser of two evils. So an even better bet from here would be to maybe just slice up the fruit and put it on the sandwich and not even use a jelly type product. Um, but if you are, at least look for one that doesn't have artificial colors and artificial sweeteners in it. Um, and you're going to have a much healthier product much healthier PB and J sandwich to speak of. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I want to invite you to leave your topic requests. So if there is a particular product that you'd like me to do the ingredient comparison on, let me know. If there's a food that you're wondering about, is it healthy or not? Leave me a comment and let me know. The whole point of this series is to help you feel more equipped to go into the store, look at an ingredient label, really just glance at an ingredient label and know if something is healthy or not. So thank you for watching this video. You can learn more about me and my health coaching practice at KarinaRachel.com. I hope you will subscribe to the Psyche Truth channel so you can see all of our future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Did you know that here in America, we eat several food chemicals that have actually been banned in other countries? Check out my video, Food Chemicals, The Musical. I've done a lot of videos discussing what not to eat, but if you'd like a video that will tell you what foods you should be eating, check out my video, Basic Nutrition, What to Eat. What are the worst beverages out there? To learn the top 10 worst beverages and healthy alternatives, check out my video, Worst Drinks. Tapping is a simple and powerful healing modality.